we are going to start the chapter that is pollination and fertilization in plants this is a very important topic in botany whenever you are studying botany this chapter is very important how pollination occurs in plants and for fertilization in plants here just for pollination and fertilization in plants firstly we have to see the structure of flower this is the longitudinal section of flowers no longitudinal sections longitudinal section of flower it is in short known as ls ls of a flower here we are finding that this is the receptacle no this is receptacle the base on which flower is resting and this is known as sepal. Sepal is also known as calyx. Sepal or calyx. The sepal or calyx and the receptacle on which the flower is resting, on which this structure, this is a female portion. This, this is known as carpel also, female. Female in biology is denoted in, in this way, female portion. Female portion of the female portion of the flowering plants. In the female portion we are finding the stigma. This is the stigma. It is sticky in nature most of the time. This neck type structure is known as a style. S-T-Y-L-E. And this structure, the oval structure is the ovary. Okay. In the ovary we are finding that some integuments are there. Then some openings are there and that is going inside the ovule. So this female portion uh, diagram it should be very clear to you that this is the female part in the same uh, flowering plant in most of the flowering plants we are finding the male parts also male parts are innumerable here they are known as stamen in the stamen, stamen the topmost is the anther and this one is known as filament okay the, from the anther, the pollens are coming. Pollens are coming. Pollens are very small microscopic parts. And if this is coming and sticking at this portion, then it is known as poll pollination. In the same plants, if it is occurring, it is known as self-pollination. It is known as self-pollination. And definitely the fertilization has to be in the same species if the pollens are coming from the other plants. Let, let us understand that some more flowers are there from the other plant of the same species, of the same uh, flowers. Then the pollens, if these are coming from the foreign flowers of the same species, and this is being attached, this is known as cross-pollination. What is it known as? It is known as cross pollination is this one clear the water pollens pollens are coming these are from the male parts the pollens when they come the cells are there the nucleus are there these are also known as sperms in some of the case as in the case of male male is denoted in this way in biology this flower is having both male and female portion so this will be denoted this flower in biology will be denoted in this way okay is this one clear in this way this shows that this is a bisexual flower means female portion is there this one is the female portion okay this one is the female portion and this one is the male portion. This shows that this is a bisexual flower. So now the structure of the flower is clear. These are the petals. Petals are also known as cor corolla. Okay. So this is the structure of flower. Here let us understand the structure of the female part. No, That one was the... Uh, where the pollen grains are coming this is a female part this is the stigma stigma you have seen this is stigma stigma okay 
on the stigma you are finding that the pollen grains are attached and this is the style when pollen grains are attached some pollen tube has formed this is the pollen tube no pollen tube has formed when this pollen grains are attached suppose this is the pollen coming if it is attached and there is germination in the pollen like this it germinates and it gives rise to a pollen tube pollen tube this pollen tube is coming and this pollen tube in this way it goes and it comes here and opens inside the ovule uh, that through the opening that is known as micropyle this pollen tube is coming and open in the ovule in the micropyle this is the micropyle opening this opening is micropyle where in the micropyle the egg cells are there in the ovule in the ovule, it, this is the embryonal sac. In the embryonal sac, there the ovule structure is there, okay? So here, what happens, this type of a structure, there are egg nuclei. These are the polar nuclei to an antipodal cells. This structure is given here. Just see here, the polar nuclei in the middle and egg at the beginning near the micropyle where the openings are there. And this whole structure is the ovule. Okay. Now we just see that here is the pollen are coming. This pollen has come. If the I have told you earlier, if the pollen is coming from the same plant, then this is the self pollination. If it is coming from the different plant, then it is the cross pollination. Here the pollen has come. As the pollen has come here, it is firstly germinate. After germinating, it has given rise to the polar tube. This pollen tube uh, has been formed. This pollen tube, we just see here, the pollen grain has come attached to the stigma and the, this is going in this way, the pollen tube and this pollen tube is being attached near the micropyle. Here it is the micropyle. The same structure of flower is there, as I have told you earlier, receptacle, sepals, and uh, here it is the petal, the anther with pollen grains, the filament is there, this is the male part, here we are finding that the pollen tube has come, and these are the integument of the ovule, okay, and this is the tube nu nucleus. And the sperms have come here and these are going near the egg cells. These are the egg cells and they are the synergies will be formed. And this is the polar nuclei, middle portion of the ovule, polar nuclei and antipodal cells. This is the structure of the embryo sac, that is the female portion. Is it clear? In this structure we will finding that this pollen tube has formed and from this pollen, from this pollen which has germinated and has given rise to the pollen tube uh, the two nuclei has come from the pollen grains one is the germinating nuclei let me draw in the different way one is the vegetative nuclei this is the generative nuclei not germinating generative nuclei from the pollen, the sperm cells, no? And this is the vegetative nuclei. This one is the vegetative nuclei. Okay, it has come up to this place near the micropyle, near the opening, and this will come in the egg cells. Here the ovule stalks are there, and this place is, here it is the micropyle. Okay? Let us understand the concept of pollination in this uh, animation effect. Here we are finding this portion is the stigma and this one is the style and this is the ovary in which ovules are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that ovules are there. This is the stamen and these are the anthers from which pollens will be coming and this is the anther. These are the calyx and these are the petals. Okay, let us see. Here we are finding that the pollens are going to another flower, okay? These pollens are coming, the pollen grains are going to another flower of the same species. This is a cross-pollination case, okay? 
this pollen will be coming and when it this pollen is coming and it is being attached to the stamen after being attached to the stamen this pollen uh, has been germinated and this is germinating polar nuclei okay this has germinated here the pollen has germinated and it will create a pollen tube that we will find it here that the pollen tube has been formed in this way the pollen tube has been formed from the in the pollen tube we are finding again let us see that this has this pollen has come it has attached to the stigma and after attaching to the stigma here the pollen tube will be formed after germinating of the pollen tube pollen pollen tube will be formed and this pollen tube will go up to the this pollen tube will go up to the micropyle here you just find in the pollen tube two nuclei has formed as i have told you earlier first one is the uh, generative nuclei and the second one is the vegetative nuclei let us see this vegetative nuclei is giving away to this pollen and this is the generative nuclei the generative nuclei and the vegetative nuclei they are traversing the role of the vegetative nuclei is only to let it reach up to the micropyle here you find here just this one this polar nuclei the generative nuclei has divided into two portions and the two nuclei has formed that's why there will be two generative nuclei and one vegetative nuclei okay now it has traversed these are the two nuclei they are the male gametes and it has come and this will come up to the uh, vegetative nuclei has diminished here after coming here and now out of this one will be coming just you see on the way it will diminish and this in this ovary these ovules are there at one portion it has come up to the micropyle here you just see in the ovary the structure of first structure this is the chalaza and these are the integuments okay and through the micropyle this nuclei are coming here here this will be coming this is the micropyle okay here it has come and here that one generative nuclei will fuse with one of the egg nucleus these three are the egg nucleus this this one this male gamete will fuse with one of the egg nuclei and it will give rise to synergies and it will finally convert into a diploid zygote this diploid zygote has formed and this another the fate of the another one is still to be known this entire process is known as syngamy it has caused the diploid zygote synergies and it is known as syngamy that is the first fertilization now this nuclei will be coming and this will be going at the middle portion where the polar nuclei are there in the central portion now what we find here are three nuclei one is the male nuclei and two are the female nuclei okay here these three are there these three will be fertilized this is known as triple fusion but this fertilization process is known as triple fusion and as a result the seeds will be formed what happened there will be one triple fusion and there was one zygote formation and this way it will give rise to the double fertilization is occurring here okay you just see here here fertilization in flowering plants you just see that this one is coming and one will be attached with one of the egg nuclei this is known as triple fusion here triple fusion here is the diploid zygote formation okay now let us 
in this module we have learned that fertilization in flowering plants is the process of fusion of the male and female gametes okay this is the fertilization fertilization in plants is known as double fertilization as two fusion occurs one at syngamy by the egg nucleus and another is the triple fusion the compatible pollen grains produces the pollen tube after reaching the ovary the pollen tube enters the ovule via micropyle chalaza or integuments and after entering the ovule the pollen tube enters the the synergids and ruptures it the pollen tube releases two sperm cells in the synergids one of the sperm cells fuses with the egg shell here at the egg shell to form a diploid zygote this process of fertilization is known as at this portion is known as syngamy another sperm cell moves towards the central shell and fertilizes with two polar nuclei this process of fertilization is known as triple fusion so triple fusion in the center and the this one at the beginning okay